guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought we would make Halloween themed t-shirt cutting designs. So all of these can sort of double as a Halloween costume and that's what I really wanted you guys to get out of this. So it's a way you can make a Halloween costume on a budget and all of these should be able to be done by all abilities. So all you're going to need is a t-shirt, pair of scissors, there's no gluing, no sewing, no weaving, nothing too complicated involved. So I really want everyone to be able to follow along and replicate these designs. So if there's a certain design you really want to just get on with and make, I'll put the timestamps in the description box for all the different designs and you can just skip to then. But if you're just looking for some inspiration, keep watching. Before I start cutting, I thought I would show you what I'm using to do the cutting on. So I opted to use a men's 3XL black t-shirt. So this is what I'm using for all the designs you're going to see and then I'm just going to put different coloured t-shirts underneath to really make the designs pop but you can decide on what colours to put underneath or nothing underneath, whatever you want to do and you can literally do these designs in any piece of material so if you don't want it to be a dress or a t-shirt you can do it on your leggings or anything really so you can really make these designs your own but I thought a dress would be cute so that's why I went for such an oversized t-shirt um, just because it means it's a suitable length as a dress and you can just sort of like wear it with thigh high boots and you're good to go for Halloween. So this is what I'm using and let's get to it. First thing you want to do is you want to lay your t-shirt out flat onto a you know hard surface like a table and then pick what side you want to put the cobweb. So I'm doing a sort of half cobweb design over the majority of the t-shirt so I'm going to do it on this side and I'm going to put the middle of the cobweb here. I've drawn a quick little sketch to see if it helped you guys visualize it. So that's where the middle's going and then these are all the things you're gonna cut out along the t-shirt. I hope this helps. If not, when we start doing it, I'm sure it will. So if you want to mark it out first, I use a rubber just because it comes off easily and I can't find my material marking wax thing. So I'm going to start my cobweb round about here. I don't think this will show up on camera, but if you don't have something to mark on your t-shirt with, a rubber works just fine. So that's where I've chosen to do it. You can see it leaves sort of like a white residue. And you don't want to cut out the hole, you want to just start cutting around it. So I'm going to put a mat underneath my t-shirt on the inside to ensure I don't cut through both sides of the t-shirt. But with a cobweb design, it might not be the end of the world if it does go all the way through, but I just want mine on one side. So I'm just going to slide that under to where I'm cutting first. The thing we're going to do is cut some small sort of um, squares out around the middle section we decided here. These are going to be a lot smaller than the rest of the cutouts, but if you want it to look more intricate, you just do more cutouts, but you'll be able to see that more when it comes together. So I'm just going to start doing that. That's the first set of snips for the cobweb and now what we're going to do is just start enlarging them from these. So I'll do the first few with you guys and then you'll see how it sort of comes together. So this one will do last because it's going to be quite thin but if we do this one all you need to do is make more sort of rectangular snips um, that are going to be bigger than the initial one at the middle. So. I will show you. So like that. So you can see they're starting to get bigger. And then you just want to do that for all of them and then just enlarge them across the t-shirt. first round look like and now in order to give it the sort of spider web effect the ones in between these black columns here you want to keep fairly thick but then when you do the next rectangle after this one we're going to cut it very close to the, this one without cutting through it so I'll show you what I mean by that so we want this thread here once I cut along we want it to be a lot thinner 
Can you see that? And that just makes it look more spider webby. So I'll just, just be careful whilst doing it, but if you do cut through it, it's something you can fix with other tools. So that's what it's starting to look like. So you can see there. So I'm gonna just complete the rest of it and I'll speed it up for you guys and we can see the finished product. So that's all the cutting done and it might not look like much currently because you can't really see behind it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and put a different colour t-shirt on underneath and we'll see what we're dealing with. So this is the finished product and I also found a spider Halloween decoration which I just thought was too perfect not to hold on my spider web. So I think it turned out brilliant, it looks like a cobweb which is what it was meant to and if you want it to look more detailed you just have to do more of these cutouts basically but I just wanted it to keep it simple so everyone could follow along um, so you literally just do a few big cutout blocks trying not to cut these and you're good to go and then I've just put an oversized white t-shirt on underneath made it one shouldered and uh, I'm ready for Halloween so that's the finished look and I would just wear this with boots or something like that but um, no I hope you guys like it for the next design I'm using a black oversized t-shirt again and I'm going to be working on the back of the t-shirt so I've got the back facing me now. I have put a little, I've put the placemat just under the top layer, you can see the red there, just to make sure I don't go through to the other side when I'm doing this design. So for this design I am making a skull face, so what I've sketched here is all the sort of shapes you can see is what I'm cutting out. So the eyes and nose may look intricate, but it does make a, it makes a difference rather than just having a circle or a triangle for the nose. Um, so I'll do that with you now. So you want the eyes to be fairly symmetrical, so just make sure your t-shirt is laid out nice and evenly. Um, so I'm going to put one eye here. So to do this, I'm just going to start by cutting the first oval. Just like that. So that's the first oval here on my design, if you can see it there. So now I'm going to cut the other half. So I'm going to start by making this middle bit here very thin. If you find it too difficult cutting something thin like this, um, you can just cut the circle. I just think it looks nice having a line coming down the eye. I think it just gives it more depth, but it's completely up to you. And just like that, we have the first eye. So I'm now going to replicate it here and then I'll be back. 
So I put some more placemats underneath so you can see it sort of come together when I do the teeth just down here. So I did just have a catastrophe. One of my lines in my eyes did break. I cut it too thin. So I've had to do a little knot just at the top. Um, if you don't want to do a knot, you can stitch it, but it's not the end of the world if that happens. Um, it might just cause the t-shirt to pull a little bit there, but it might make a cool effect. So we'll wait and see when we try it on to see what happened there. So for the teeth, I'm gonna start by doing a few sets just right in the middle and then decide how many I'll go out with. So you can make these as long or as short as you want. Um, every skeleton can be different. So there's my first one. Just like that. So now I'm gonna do the rest of them and then I'll be back. And there you have it, the finished skeleton design. So I'm gonna go put this on and put a white top underneath and we can see what it looks like on. If you didn't wanna do just normal skeleton, you can turn the teeth into fangs so you can like make them pointy on the edges or whatnot. I thought about that after I'd already cut it, but that's another vampire is also very Halloween-y. So if you wanted to do like a vampire type skeleton, that's easily done as well. So I'm gonna go throw this on and then I'll be back. So this is what it looks like. So the front I've kept just plain. We'll do something with the next design on the front of this t-shirt, but are you ready? Oh bam It turned out so good. So you can make the fangs if you want it vampire, but it looks, it looks exactly like I wanted it to. So I'm really happy. I think it looks sick, and I like the white behind it. I was thinking maybe red would look good, but I think white looks quite nice. And now I'm gonna go on the front and we're gonna do a rib cage sort of skeleton. So it can be skull on the back, rib cage on the front. For the next design, we're doing the ribs. So I put the mats underneath just to make sure I don't cut through to the other side. And this is the sort of design I had in mind. So excuse the drawing, this is the first time I've ever drawn ribs, but you get the idea, I'm gonna cut a series of sort of like rectangly squares down the middle for the chest and then I'm just doing these sort of like curved um, shapes around the edges. It will make more sense as I start doing it. So I'm going to start doing the middle bit first and I want to make sure this is in the middle of the shirt because it is a very large shirt this one so I don't want the rib cage to be humongous. I want it to sit sort of nice in the middle. So um, to start with I'm just going to cut the first one up here. Just like that. So I'm now going to do a series of them all the way down to get the chest. So I know I said I was going to do it quite small, but I have decided to go for the full length of the t-shirt. So it's going to be a massive rib cage, but it should still look fine. And mine's a little bit lopsided, but again, I don't think it will show too bad. Um, I've sort of slanted it to the left a little bit. But um, now we're gonna do the ribs. So you can see I've done these two little bits at the bottom here. That just, uh, in my design, I wanted it to look like the continuation of the rib cage. I was gonna do a whole sort of skeleton cut out, but that's quite complicated. But if you guys would like that, I would happily do that in another video. Um, so to do the ribs, I'm just gonna start at the top. I'm gonna go round actually. So I'm just gonna start here and do some sort of like the first overly ribs. So there's the first one. You guys can't see it because I haven't put a mat under it. So you can see I've just done the first one up there and now I'm going to do the same on the other side and then start doing the bigger ones. Thank you. 
So there's the second one on that side. Um, if you're worried you can see the table through it, that's because of the skull on the other side. I wanted the skull on the back and the ribs on the front. So now for the bigger ribs, I'm just going to do sort of long ones that just curve up a little bit. So you'll see as I start cutting. So it's all done, all the cutting, so I'm going to put it on now so you can see the finished effect because um, it's quite difficult seeing without something different coloured behind. So I'll put it on top of the white t-shirt I'm wearing and we'll see what it looks like. So this is how the ribs look and it's turned out exactly how I envisioned it. They're bigger than I thought I was going to go for but I actually, I kind of prefer it, I think it works better. And I like the fact I did these two um, cutouts here, it just looks like it's continuing into the pelvis. And you can do more cuttings if you have a longer t-shirt or a bigger dress. Um, but no, I really like how this has turned out. So you've got the ribs on the front which look fabulous and then the skull on the back. So there's lots you can do with cutting t-shirts. I've got one more design left to show you, so I'll go jump to that, but look how good it's turned out. And I'm actually quite shocked. Like This is the first time I've ever done it, and look, everything's a bit rough around the edges, but it kind of works for Halloween, so it's a win-win, but that's this one. For the neck design, I thought I would do a pumpkin face on the front here, and then wear an orange t-shirt underneath to make it pop. So this is the design I very quickly drew. So it's very simple, you will only be cutting out four shapes, but you can alter it to however you want to do it. So for this, I'm gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna cut them fairly high on the t-shirt. And um, I have put something behind the t-shirt to ensure it doesn't go through to the other side. So the shape you wanna cut looks like my drawing. So it's sort of like a triangle with the top cut off and then a little bump inside. just like that. So it sort of looks like an A without the middle bit. And this bit here might flop up and down, but it's just to give the effect of a little bump being there. So I'm just gonna jump into the other one now. So that's the eyes done. Now for the nose, I'm gonna be doing a pointy triangle with a uh, sort of like an indent in the middle. Just like that. And then the hard part now is going to be the mouth. Now you can make this a bit simpler if this one's a bit difficult. I've never cut this before, so we're just gonna give it a good go. So this is a very basic pumpkin face. So I've just done a very simple um, three sort of teeth, if you like, or these are the teeth. Um, so I'll see what it looks like with the orange behind it and then we can adapt the design if needs be But it looks like a pumpkin, which is the main thing. This is what this design looks like I stupidly didn't think about the mouth shape and how it was gonna just droop open by cutting a big shape So that was my bad um, But you need to trial things sometimes and it doesn't always go to plan same with the eyes the little um, Eye bits I cut out just flop down and the nose bit so this one gravity has not been my friend with but I'm gonna use say safety pins just to fix the mouth. So all I'm going to do is join together the teeth. 
and then put it like that and then do the same on the other side just to stop the droopiness um, it means it's still looks like a pumpkin to be honest the droopy mouth also looked like a pumpkin it just looked like a very very happy pumpkin which isn't very halloweeny so there we have that's what i was envisioning in my head but because of the weight of the t-shirt it was just wide open but i think with the mouth fixed with safety pins it actually i i get the pumpkin vibe from it and i think it looks quite good so um let me know what you think but and you can also you can safety pin these bits up as well so there's all things you can do if you did just want to stick to my design but i think i'll redesign this one and then if you want to see an updated design i'll be happy to film that but i mean it will look cute for halloween and if you're in a nightclub or a party no one's going to notice but um i quite like actually how the safety pins look cause they sort of make a cool effect it's like you can see the orange through the teeth but it's holding it together nicely i like it but that's my pumpkin look so that's all i got for you guys today i really do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful hopefully um let me know in the comments if you've got any further videos you'd like to see from me whether they're certain characters you want me to create on a budget or that type of thing i love to be creative so i'm happy to hear your ideas i've got a few videos planned over the next few weeks anyway but i'll be happy to squeeze in any more into my schedule before halloween hits i can't believe we're already at halloween like how is it already october it's crazy but um nope that's today's video I really do hope you enjoyed and hopefully you'll subscribe for more I'll put all my social media in the description box below I do have an Instagram and I have another channel so if you're interested in like rocks crystals geology fossils that type of thing that channel's all about that stuff so I'll link that down below as well but that's called M gems if you want to check it out but um apart from that thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed